Hey, what is going on guys? It is Jiggle back again with another video and I'm sorry if I sound tired. I am tired. I can't even speak English right now, barely. <laughs> but anyways, it has been a while since I've just sat down and talked to you guys and give a little bit of an update of how I'm doing, what I'm doing on the channel, what's going on, where's been the modding content, where is just, where, what's going on, you know, with me. So I'd just like to first talk about GTA Online modding, why I can't do that anymore. Uh, Take Two and Rockstar Games specifically have been attacking and striking down Zyrian's videos and usually right after they strike him down they come and strike me down because we do collaborate and make videos together so I'm, <laughs> I'm you know pretty much next on the list when it comes to that kind of stuff so uh, we've done some experimenting changing uh, titles of videos changing thumbnails of videos and it, it, it's too much of a risk and it's just not worth doing it for the time being and it's just too risky we could not only can we lose our channels but we can also never be able to upload a single video to youtube again the termination rules on youtube are that if you are terminated on one channel you are terminated on every single channel so that's how that works and uh, obviously i don't want to risk that it really sucks working months and weeks and you know a very long time in these gta online modding videos which do well on the channel i understand that a lot of people subscribe to the channel looking for that type of content because that's what they found me with and i completely understand that but it's just not worth the risk and it sucks so much to watch months or weeks of just hard work just disappear out of thin air he <laughs> i don't you know i don't get the views from it anymore it has literally disappeared off the face of youtube just completely gone at that point so you guys kind of get where i'm coming from you know imagine working so hard to you know make a tryout for a sport you know you work months weeks even years on videos or some sort of type of content or just working out practicing and you could lose it you get cut at any point in time now i'm not uh, you know comparing myself to a professional athlete or any athlete at all what i do on youtube is much less physically demanding though it can take a mental toll here and there um it's not nearly as bad as being a professional athlete here my here i am going on random tangents i digress the reason i did gta online modding for such a long time over a year and a half now or something like that i started late into 2019 i think november of 2019 and here we are june of 2021 so it has been yeah roughly about a year and a half i really enjoyed it at the time because i've played gta I've, i'm 100 percent a veteran i played gta online the very first day it came out october 1st 2013 i still remember coming home from school and playing it for the very first time ever but nonetheless you know it, it gets boring you know the same um grind the same old game we've been playing the same game now for eight years and modding just brought some new fresh taste to it and that's why i liked it so much and you guys also enjoyed it a lot it was very motivating to you know record a video if i knew that a big audience was going to see it and like it and even love it you know i i remember reading comments of all these great positive things that i was really glad to be doing at the time so lately how i'm how how i've been doing is, is it's just been hard to sit down and record a video knowing that i am going to make a video for a far less uh size of an audience than i was before uh you know a lot of people are oh you know you do it for the views youtubers only want views and it's like i'd much rather be making a video for thousands of people that it will enjoy than only a few dozen or a few hundred would enjoy it, it makes sense it's not so much the money factor for me i barely get paid at all on youtube i'm gonna be honest <laughs> i get next to nothing for the amount of hours i've put in the past god three years now it you know i get paid next to nothing i made years and years of content without money i do not care about the money at all i work in real life part-time doing some independent contractor stuff with my father um that's just a little bit about me what i've been doing with the summer saving up money for one day hopefully i can get into a car with that or something i don't know but you guys know where i come from hopefully i can try and be relatable with this that it's it's hard to you know put yourself out there and be motivated when a lot of less a lot less people are going to be able to see it in a way it, it's just it's very very hard for me at least 
Going from hundreds of subscribers a day back in my modding prime last summer, that was much more motivating than making videos now. Though I want to keep making content, it is it's it takes a much bigger toll sitting down and being motivated. I'm not nearly as excited to make a video now than I was a year ago, though I still am. There's still motivation there, but it's just a lot less, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure. It took like about a year and a half to finally find that, that niche that I wanted, that playing my favorite game of all time, being able to make videos on it and being, show it to thousands of people as an audience and people enjoyed it, it was funny, good content. That was something I was really, really excited for for such a long time. It's what I've been wanting for such a long time and I can't do it because of, you know, multi-billion dollar corporations simply saying I just can't. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to fight, you know, take two or anything or Rockstar. I, you know, if they're losing money, of course they want to not lose that money. I understand from a business standpoint, it makes sense for them. Uh, what I've really wanted to try doing when I first got into YouTube was variety content. Um, call me Kevin. I don't uh, bring him up too much in my videos or anything, but um, I really love his content. He is my by far my favorite content creator of all time. Call me Kevin. If you guys never heard of him, maybe go check him out. He makes some very funny and entertaining videos. He's got a very good humor side of things, and I, I love the way he makes his videos and the way he um, portrays himself and the games he plays and stuff like that. I, I really love that, and that was my dream kind of coming into YouTube uh, early on in 2018 before I even knew who he was. It's kind of always what I've wanted. Um, something where I could just sit down, play any game, be funny, make it entertaining, and then, you know, have a bunch of people like and watch it and be entertained themselves um, and just make them a happier person that day. I don't know whether they're having a good day, bad day. Hopefully my video, when they clicked on it, they would, it would just make them much happier. Um, you know, and just make their day more enjoyable or just make that few minutes enjoyable. That's what I really want from YouTube. And recently with my new kind of videos that I've been releasing, GTA RP, it's kind of what I've mainly been doing the past few weeks. It's really hard to get it out to a new audience of people that the 20, the first 20,000 of my subscribers wanted to see GTA Online modding. Now I can't give them that content. So now, you know, I'm just sitting in people's sub boxes no one's you know clicking on my videos as much i understand you know if i subscribe to someone for some reason and they couldn't make that content i subscribed for i would also probably stop watching them or just unsubscribe and you know never really watch their videos again i completely understand you know i'm i'm not gu guilting you guys into not watching my videos or watching my videos or whatnot uh that's that's not the case at all what i really wish is that um gta online modding could continue in that I wish I had a new niche or new type of content I could create that could also get out to a big audience of people like my GTA Online modding content and that people could enjoy. Uh, my other videos that I make, my GTA RP videos, I've touched in a variety of content here and there. Um, and those have been, I guess, I, no, I don't guess. I, those have been some of my best videos is the ones I really try at some of the greater variety content that I've made. I really enjoyed those videos. I even go and go back and watch them myself sometimes because I love them so much. Um, though my GTA Online mod videos, I worked really hard on them too, but some of the variety content that I made in the past have also been really, really good and then I even go back and watch them. So if you stuck um, with me this whole time, um, you know, let me know when you guys want to see. I, I say that constantly and I feel like um, it, it doesn't get ignored, but um, I feel like a lot of people just, just don't really put in their input. Um, an audience's input is just good, just as good as the, you know, the creator's output. So um, let me know when you guys want to see and I can make that for you. Um, GTA Online modding cannot be one of those things, obviously, but single player mods, GTA RP. Um, that stuff I'm super interested in. It has been a lot of fun on the GTRP server that I've recently recently been playing on. It has been so much fun. I love it. Enjoy it to hell. Um, you, like myself, 
probably don't want to either watch nor do I want to create a video that no one wants to watch. Um, you know, if you guys don't want to see GTA RP, maybe I'll do it less. If you guys want to see a different game, maybe I'll do it more. Um, I, I don't want to go into more cheating or modding in video games. I only did that in GTA because I really enjoyed it. That and I've been playing the game, the same game, for the past eight years. So that's, that's really why I did it. Though, that and, you know, a lot of people did enjoy it. So I'm not going to go into, like, CSGO cheating or any other sort of modding or cheating. But I'm willing to try out new games, new types of content for you guys. Um, if you guys are willing to watch it, because I... It's it's um, it's been tough, you know. I, I can't make the videos that I want to make, and you guys can't watch what you guys want to watch from me, and that sucks so much. That I, I can't do that for you guys. Uh, you have no idea. It, it sucks for me as much as it probably sucks for you. I understand. That's one of the one things I cannot control. There's two things I can always control, and that is my attitude and my effort, which I will always get 110% of. I will always give it, you know, a wise man once said, you know, I will always give my attitude and effort towards my content creation um, just for something you guys want to see and something I, I would like to create. I still have motivation to do YouTube. I'm not quitting or anything. I'm nowhere near, nowhere near that. You know, if there was a scale, I'm all the way the opposite of end. Of quitting you know there's no way I've gotten this far with you guys uh, helping and I would just turn around and just stop doing that there's no way at all thanks again for sticking to the end like I said drop your input your input is just as good and just as important as my output so yeah let me know what you guys want to see um, thanks again for watching a little update video how I've been doing and you know let me know how you guys are doing too you know i don't care about that kind of stuff i want to make sure you guys are doing well yourselves um yeah i guess i will see you guys in the next one goodbye